Welcome to Dragon Gaming, our first Let's Play video. I'm going to be playing Prison Architect, and we're going to go ahead and try to build a new prison. So what we're going to do is we're first going to go and create new prison. This is version 1.0, so this is the full release game. I'll take Fog of War off. Do not like forests. And we'll leave the failure conditions in, put gangs, events, and we will skip unlimited funds. Okay. So let's start by constructing a prison that can hold 10 prisoners. I always try to build my prison using concrete, but let's go plan it out first. 10 prisoners. Let's put the cells over here. We'll do a simple little 2 by 3. And there we go. So we'll just create five here and five across the hall. Okay. There we go, another five. Make sure to like and share the video if you enjoy it. If you want to see more, definitely uh, like the video. So I know that you're enjoying this. Okay, let's go ahead and create a hallway leading to the cells. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll bring the prisoners in over here and have a reception right here. So they'll come in here, come through the halls, and into the cell block. Right here will be a shower room for them. This will be the kitchen back here, and this will be the mess hall. This will be the yard. And what we'll do is at the very end here, let's do a 5x5 five five holding cell. No, let's do a 5x6. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and construct a building. There we go. Now let's go ahead and speed up our workers. Also, since we're not ready for prisoners, let's go ahead and turn our intake off. So we come into here and turn the intake all the way off. That way when we're not expecting it, no prisoners will arrive. So we'll let these guys do their work. There will be other series of other games on this channel. This is just the first. Okay, it requires an entrance now. So we'll just go ahead and put a standard jail door over here. There we go. And it dawned on me that I need to go ahead and prepare for the utilities. Alright, so let's go plan the utility room. And then around, like so. And then over here, one, two, three. And then we'll surround it with walls. Walls, 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 and more walls. Okay, let's go ahead and extend the main foundation out. There we go. So while we're extending that foundation out, I'm going to go and start building up some of these other walls. This little spot here will be the yard. This is a hallway leading up to the maintenance area. 
Okay, so let's get some utilities put in. Put the water in. And let's make sure we're already kind of future proof here. If you do enjoy Prison Architect, leave it in the comments and let me know. I am more than willing to do the campaign mode as well, as well as the escape modes. Right now we'll just do the sandbox mode and build a prison. And of course I go ahead and I build too quickly. Let's go grab a grant, basic detention center. That'll give me $20,000 and allow me to finish building everything I need. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get the rest of the utilities built up here. see the problem already. Let's go grab a jail cell door cell. There we go. That way they can get in there and get that stuff built up. And we'll also put the office door over there. So the first video we're just going to get the prison up and bring in our first 10 prisoners. Second video we'll be running the prison and doing a few extra things. Making sure we feed them and everything. But we're going to go through this basic detention center grant and build this prison up first. So I'm just going to construct the cells. Now normally to start a prison it's probably best uh, to start with just a simple detention center, a detention, um, holding cell, which is what it only requires because the ce individual cells do get expensive after a while. doors in here. Alright, let's finish adding some walls in. Now, I do have to add some offices in, so what we'll do... One, two, three... So there's four... So we'll just add the warden's office in over here for right now. Add some jail cell doors in. There we go. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll get the nitty-gritty of the cells. So we'll need beds. So we'll put those in. So we also are going to need toilets. And you know what? We'll put it right beside their pillows. connect the rest of the utilities to the toilet. There we go. And we need a 
going over here. Okay, so what we're going to need to do, we need to go clear an area so it goes an indoor area so it can become an outdoor area. That'll be our yard. Let's actually start creating the rooms. So we need a holding cell. We need a canteen. We need a kitchen. We need a shower, which will be right here. Going to need at least one office for the warden's office. Going to need a yard right here. So we have everything that's required of this grant. Let's go ahead and finish getting it filled out with everything that's needed in each of these rooms. So the cells are complete. Canteen is going to be simple. Let's put two tables. and four benches. Okay. Now we do need a serving table. We've got to have a way to get their food. So we'll go ahead and put a serving table right here. And we'll go put one, two stoves and two fridges and one sink should cover the canteen in that. And we have to expand our yard. There we go. Oh, that made a mistake. There we go. Expand the yard that way. Alright, so let's go deal with our holding cell. Holding cells off a bit too. Alright, so we'll go ahead and expand that up. Well, that's soon. We'll go ahead and put the stuff in for the shower. Alright, let's go find our drainage. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Let's put our shower heads in. And we'll go ahead and connect the utilities to that. Yank. Yank. There we go. Alright, so the showers are done. Now we need to get the office done. So we need an office desk. A chair. Let's be nice to our warden and give him a place to sit down. And a filing cabinet. And what we're going to do is we're going to go hire our warden. Where are you, Warden? There you are. So we'll hire our Warden. Our Warden is now in. <coughs> oh, my office is off by one spot, too. There we go. Let's go work on this holding cell up here. Okay. Holding cell. Holding cell. Okay, so now what we need, we're going to need a bench. We'll put two beds in here. The beds aren't necessary for the holding cell to operate, but it's at least a nice gesture. And we'll put a couple of toilets in here. 
Only one is needed. Go ahead and create the rest of the outdoors. Outdoor area, here we go. And then we'll expand the yard. And we're pretty much almost there. Alright, let's go ahead and add in the last bit of power that's needed here. Increase the yard. Alright, so we're going to look up over here in the left hand corner. So, as you can see, we've gone ahead and we built our holding cell, we built our shower, our yard, our kitchen, and our canteen. We have to hire at least two guards and two cooks. So, I'm actually going to go for the guards and hire four guards. For cooks, we'll just hire the two. And that'll give us an extra $10,000. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and open up and do an intake for 10 prisoners. We'll stick with minimum security. And it looks like minimum security only has 8 prisoners. So we'll have 8 prisoners for our first batch of prisoners. Okay, so our first couple of prisoners have come in, so what happens is they'll come into the prison, and they'll be stuck into the holding cell. And then eventually the guards will move them from the holding cell into their cells. And it would help if I actually created their cells. There we go. Alright, so the prisoners are being moved into individual cells now. Alright, we'll turn intake off because we've got more than enough prisoners in our prison right now. Okay, so that's where we're going to end it today. I thank you for joining uh, me in Dragon Gaming. I hope you enjoyed the video and the game itself. There will be additional videos to follow. This is only episode one in the Prison Architect series. Episode two will hopefully follow within a week. Thank you very much and have a good day. Enjoy your gaming.